It's Back to Plumber's Lodge on Great Bear Lake with guide Craig Blackie. And Dave puts on the gloves for round two with the Big Lakers. Jeez. Tired of messing with those little ones. Shake him off. Oh, come on, another one? <laughs> In a land like no other. On a lake like you've never seen. Well, maybe you've seen lakes like this. But there is an angler so great, he once set the hook so hard he turned a small mouth into a large mouth. He can unscramble an egg. He made his first cast at the age of three and it landed yesterday. We join him to chronicle one day on one lake. This is Facts of Fishing, the show. Here we go! Welcome to Facts of Fishing, the show. Brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha, conquer water. Phoenix Bass Boats, experience the Phoenix difference. Live Target, lifelike lures. Action car and truck accessories, the right customer experience. And Jackal. Eat. Sleep. Jackal. Places like this, and you think, man, this is what the world used to be. You know, there was a time when this was everywhere. But uh, thank God, there's a time that this is still here. And I'm telling you, life's too short not to experience it. You've got to come up here. I mean, it, it, it's not just the experience. It's not just the fish you catch. It's just the feeling. Everybody needs to experience this. I'm very thankful that I have. There he is. Better fish. No, God. What are they? He'll be back. Man, you, you know, when you're trolling, the crazy thing is you can actually feel fish moving. Oh, there he is. He ate it. Oh, man, he dropped it again. I'm telling you, there he, he came back. He came back. Oh, he dropped it again. What is going on? You can, I felt this fish moving behind the bait. I can literally feel, you know, when you get the pulse and you get the feet. There, he ate it. He ate it. I told you he'd come back. It's a bigger one than I first hooked. Okay. He's right on the surface already, dude. Oh, wow. Wow. I felt that fish behind the bait. I mean, just you could feel it moving. And I don't think it was one fish, dude. I think that was a group of fish Definitely. chasing that bait. Yep. And uh, this dude is not a giant, but it just talks about the competitive nature of these fish. I mean, a lot of times you'll get out there and these fish, they'll travel in what I like to call little wolf packs. Um, you know, and there's not, generally there's not, you know, there's not 30, 40 fish. You, you get a situation where there's, you, you know, six to 10 fish and they kind of cruise along and just munch. And I think that competitiveness, you know, a lot of times it's not even the fish that's been following that bait for the longest time that eats it. It's one that hammers in from the side. Yeah, and uh, big appetite though, hey, on these fish. Awesome. It's not a giant, but uh, if you fight him twice, you can double his weight and something like that. Oh, good, good, good fishy. Way to start the nice. morning, Dave. Nice, it really is awesome. I mean, it's the same deal when you're fishing a spinner bait or anything. One of the biggest keys with any kind of fishing is get used to the bait you're throwing and get used to how it feels when nothing's happening. Because then that'll allow you to know what it feels like when something happens. And that's exactly what happened with that fish. I mean, I'm telling you, it was more than one fish and they were all taking a swat at it. And finally, 
one of them got it. This segment is brought to you by ARE Truck Caps. ARE, outfit for life. of the anticipation you know what i mean like you're standing here you're and you know yeah. at any minute it could happen like that, oh, that's <laughs> like that. at any minute it could happen <laughs> and i like fish like this that are good on command fish that's a nice nice fish look at that <sighs> that right there is pretty good fish it's amazing, you know, how a fish, you know, how they evolve, you know, even the same species and how they evolve with what they eat. This thing's made for speed and made for cover and water and eating big, big baits. Want me to get the rod out of the way? No, it's okay. Whew. You know, sometimes you plan on sexy releases and sometimes lake trout have another plan. <laughs> Water's cold, in case you're wondering. That is awesome, dude. Swim bait. We knew they'd work. Oh, that's kind of, that looks like a good one, dude. On the big live tiger swim bait. Oh, we almost had a double. Trying to keep screw it up here. Here, let's let's double up. We know there's fish here. They're here. Here, I'm getting all selfish here with my fish. <laughs> no, I want to see that bait. I mean, it looked good when you set the hook on it. We're putting the putting the muscle to this rod. That's for sure. That's yeah. a good one, dude. Yeah, they old. Look at how that dude ate that thing. Yeah, like it wasn't just, a, oh, oh, and he spit it right beside the boat. There you go. But there you go, clear as day, that swim bait is the ticket. Fish, I didn't even get the bait back. I didn't even get the bait back. Look at that, how crazy is that? I mean, I'm letting the bait back and, and I'm hooking up already. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'll just quickly shake them off for you, yeah, but yeah. give me, oh, I got them. I got them, you keep, keep on top of them. And then he goes. That is the cool thing. I mean, I hate when people say stuff like that on fishing shows. It's kind of the overdone said thing, but that is the cool thing about barbless hooks. I mean, you get a little fish like that. I mean, you're in Great Bear Lake. You're in the Northwest Territories. You're at freaking pump. Oh my God, we're the handle dude. Are you kidding me? And I've got a fish. The handle of this reel came off and I just had a fish hit. Boat, I'm hoping it's in the bottom of the boat. We have extra. I'm hoping it's in the bottom of the boat. I have no handle and I've got fish eating my bait. <laughs> oh, there's the handle. There's the handle. Okay, hold on fish. Just chill out for a minute. Just chill. Just, just relax. There's no need. I mean, it's going to stay there. I don't know. I don't have the flux capacitor. I'm missing the flux capacitor. That's an important part. Let me see if he'll come back. I got a handle now. Oh, there he is, I got him, I got him. Oh my goodness, I gotta keep the handle on. This is, this is tough, I mean, it's technical. This is what's called a bad day at the office for me. I'm keeping the handle on. I've, I've lost the flux capacitor. You see, it's clearly missing the flux capacitor. And I got 
a fish. It's not very big, but I'm getting them in with my handleless reel. Look at him. It's just a shaker. Oh, sorry, handles down. Handle down. Handle down. Job done on the handle. There he's gone. Fish is gone. Handle down. I mean, if I was really cheesy, I'd look at that camera right now and I'd make a cheesy grin and I'd say, man, you don't want to go to Plumber's Logs. Those fish will strip the dang gears out of your reel. But I'm not cheesy like that, so I'm not going to do something dumb like that. Whew. The fish beat my reel. I feel like a horror movie, Blackie. Slasher film? Yeah, like they're looking at us. going to happen. He's looking at my spoon right now. Oh, I feel like it's going to happen. I'm scared almost. Oh! Narnia! It's exactly what this place looks like. And the best part is it's pretty good fishing. Keep up doing charging. Wow. I mean, everything I got. Oh, there he is. Mm. Whew, just by the boat, just that quick, but he's decided to leave. He decided he doesn't want to hang out. No, 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 he doesn't want to hang out. No, no, he's going home. He's going back to his home. Why didn't you find your home? And as you can see, he's 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 really he's he's leaving. He's he's left the building. I mean, look at this, dude. Am I really here? <laughs> wow. Nice fish. There nice. Goal. Lovely. Put him Whoa. in. That's the end of that. Just like that. Not That's exactly how it's either. done. Textbook catch and release, but well, hey. It, it, it brings them back to their natural environment very quickly. I mean, it, you know, yeah. it's kind of like you watch boxing, if somebody gets knocked out, you know, they're smelling salts and slap them a few times. It's all it is. Yep. Totally intentional. There you go. Jeez. I'm tired of messing with those little ones. Shake him off. Oh, come on, another one? <laughs> you <laughs> shook him off and another one. Are you kidding me? Pesky fish. Oh my God. Third time's a charm. You hooked another one? Yep, three in a row, just like that. See, where you need to be. You lose a fish, there'll be another one along. Well, that was almost all the way out before I hooked up. Boom! Nice there you done, go, Dave. Dave. Awesome. Nice work. Yes. You think this is oh, that took you so long, Dave? <laughs> he's near it. He's near it. I mean he's Wow, that one's dumped it. Dude, that's a better fish. That's a bigger fish. Yeah. Oh boy, bigger yes, bigger yeah, fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the kind. That's what we're looking for. That is the kind. That's what we came here that's for. That's the kind. Yes, sir. You know, everywhere you fish, no matter where it is, I mean, it's pretty apparent that always the little dudes mm. kind of get the scraps first. I hope this is as big as it feels, because it feels like a good one. It's not as big as I thought, but it's a good one, man. Here it comes, dude. 
Oh, 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 there you go. Awesome, awesome fish. Nice work. What a beauty. That's a good one right there. Yeah, that's a nice one. We're good. Work in the right direction. That is awesome. These things are just munching machines. Let's let him keep munching, huh? Yeah, let's get him back so we can grow up a little bit bigger yet. You know, I try, I try to be smooth. You know, I try to be cool like the other fishing shows, you know, some of those sexy fly angler. They just set the fish in the water and it dances away. But that's those shows. This is fact sufficient. The replay of the day is brought to you by Action Car and Truck Accessories. Whether it's your work truck, fishing truck, or just your daily ride, Action has got you covered. Action, the right customer experience. Fish, I didn't even get the bait back. I didn't even get the bait back. This episode was filmed at the beautiful Plumber's Lodge on Great Bear Lake. This segment is brought to you by Hook Performance Fishing. Oh, there he is. Nice. Good one. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a good one. Gone. And that's how it's done. <sighs> Saved you a little bother. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Sweet. I mean, I, I don't know if we have an awesome meter or whatever, because I don't know how many times I've said it, but I don't know what else to say about this place. <laughs> Good set. How's that one feel? Oh, it feels good. Solid fish. solid fish. Good one. Nice. Mm. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. They're getting bigger. Man, the power of these fish. But when you see them, I mean, that big head on them, I mean, they look like a big German shepherd mouth on them. He's, he's going nuts down there now. Oh, it's big fish, dude, big fish. Yep, that's a better one. Big fish. Look at the size of that beast. Look at this beast. You're fishing for big fish. You got to adjust that drag through the set. Boom! Woo! Yes! That's a good one right there. Let's see this. Nice. Wow. You out? Here you go, Dave. This is your fish here. Let's. Uh, Come on, hold here, look at this. Oh, whoo! Well done. Plumber's Lodge, Great Bear Lake. It's a long, long way from home, but it sure feels like home right now, I'll be honest. Oh, yeah. An awesome, awesome fish. Mm, let's let him go. Oh, look at that sexy, sexy fish. Big fish like this fought long and hard. And uh, they're such a, such a precious resource. I mean, this fish could be the potential next world record. It definitely has the right gene. So uh, when you catch a big fish like this, just give it a little breather, hold it in the water, and you'll feel it start to come to life. You know, you feel it start to re-energize. You can actually a lot of times feel its pulse right in its tail going boom, boom, boom. Well, either that or it's my pulse, one or the other. See ya.
Got him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just missed one. That's a good one, dude. That's the kind. That looks like a good one. Oh, I double, double, and a big one. Nice. Oh, it feels big. Oh. <laughs> Narnia! Oh, oh, man. Wow. This is incredible. A double header in the middle of Narnia. Mm. And they both feel like giants. You're still feeling good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, dude. This is incredible. Oh, man. Hey. Oh, good. You need him? Nope. I took mine off as a garden professional that I am here. Mm. There you go! Narnia! And he went num nums. Oh. Let him recharge. Oh, awesome. Dude. Oh, nice fish in a nice place. All fishing aside, I mean, nobody needs to tell you how awesome the fishing is. It's absolutely insane, but this is truly one of the most insane places I've ever been in my life, and I'm very lucky to be here. Jay fished for eight and a half hours, made 132 passes, and caught 19 fish. That's the score. Now time for the facts. Dave and Blackie caught all these big beasts on giant spoons. They also threw an eight inch live target swim bait, trolled using medium action eight foot trolling rods with line counter reels. And those are the facts.